is there a systemic product to control rust on my iris? I am currently spraying Dacanil. And he said it helps. Are you aware of a systemic product that will control rust? Yeah. And that's the I'm thing. I'm not aware of one, especially yeah. for homeowners I wouldn't be aware of one. As I mentioned earlier, for the most part, fungicides are preventative in nature. Um, there are some that have a little bit of kickback activity, mm -hmm. but for the most part, fungicides are preventative in nature. And so they are a pesticide that if you want to control diseases, you have to put them out on a regular basis yeah. to prevent a disease from occurring. You, know, you, put, you, and you don't have to put them out forever. You put them out when new foliage is coming out and, and you know, just control it you know, when, they're, when the plants are susceptible to the diseases. But um, insecticides, on the other hand, you, know, you can wait until you have a problem you can see the problem, you identify what the problem is, mm -hmm. and you can just treat that problem. Uh, but fungicides, unfortunately, we don't have any real good systemic fungicides. We have a few systemic insecticides out there, right, there are a few. that the plants will take up mm -hmm. through the roots and, and go through the vascular system, and, and uh, there, there are a few of those. But as far as fun, fungicides, I'm not aware of any real good any. ones. No. And what you would need to do, too, is practice, again, you know, good cultural practices. Right. Uh, space the plants out, mm -hmm. let the air get in there to dry those leaves off so they don't stay wet for an extended period of time. Um, and something else I would do too, Mr. Jim, I would rotate my fungicide. So Dacanil, which is chlorothionyl, mm -hmm. uh, is the active ingredient. I rotate that with uh, Immunox, a a which is class. Yeah, mm -hmm. Microbutanil. Right. You know, it's something that I, that I would recommend that you would use as well. You know, to, to get your rust under control. Try but, to prevent resistance yeah, from occurring. That's right. Oh, right. So I would rotate that, Mr. Jim, and that should do the trick for you. Just right? remember the disease triangle. Yeah. You've got to have the host, you've got to have the disease organism, and you've got to have the proper environment. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of control over the environment unless you're watering at the yeah. wrong time, putting too much water out and getting the soil too wet and all that. If you have control over that part of the environment, you can control it. Otherwise, then you've got to deal with the host. Mm -hmm which you can remove. If you have a severe problem with the same plant year after year, like I used to have with Fatinia, I mm -hmm. took the Fatinia out. Take it out. I took that disease problem away. I didn't have Fatinia leaf spot anymore because I didn't have any Fatinia in it. <laughs> uh, so, you know, keep that disease triangle in mind. Yep. Take it out or resistant varieties. Resistant varieties, yeah. excellent. We're gonna uh, hopefully, we're, and there are some out there. Now, there are some out there, I'm sure. Resistant Fatinia. There are some out there. Mm -hmm.